so like I spoke about in my previous video, DMX has recently passed away, and articles, news outlets, blogs rushed to post about his untimely demise. And every time a prominent person, specifically in the, and I'm not gonna lie, in the black community, specifically in the black community, passes away, they always find a, a, a find a way to backhanded disrespect you after you die. So LA Times issues apology for instance of DMX headline. So now this is what the this is what the headline says. It's a great headline. DMX gravel voice hip hop star who topped the charts in the late 90s, dead at 50, right? You're you're giving him praise while also announcing to the people that he has passed away. I'll read what they said in a second, but let's see what the original title said. DMX gravel voice hip hop star who battled law and addiction dies at 50, right? So Battling addiction is one thing. I don't necessarily think that battling addiction is something that you should shy away from because it is and it can be an inspirational motivator to other people who are battling addiction to see. And I'm not trying to say to see like this is what you could be like, look at this guy. This is what you could be. But, you know, it's to let people know that it's not only you. You can be going through it as the poorest, the middle classes, the whatever. And also you can look at somebody who is at the top of the world. Like everybody goes through things. You're not alone. It's real and it happens, right? So when they posted, somebody said, uh, DMX, the rapper, actor, and hip-hop icon has died. Take notes. LA Times, when a writing a report, your journalism is garbage, unfollowing. So, um, D, uh, not DMX. LA Times made a retraction, I guess. This post replaces an earlier image which contained a headline that did not meet our standards. We apologize for the mistake. I don't even understand why in that situation you would even feel necessary to bring up someone's like troubles why they were here, especially when they seem like they were trying to like when you see in 2019, 2018, he's going to rehab, he's doing these things, even though obviously he fell, uh, he fell to them once again, because that's what happens with that journey with addiction. You can relapse and succumb to the, to that, whatever you were addicted to again, but what makes you feel the need as a newspaper article to put this out to 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 um, not defame somebody? But you, you get what I'm saying. Why would you do this? And I already have I already have an idea why they did this. There's so many people. There's so many articles and so many newspapers that are putting out articles about DMX passing away. They run ads on their pages. When you click on their page to look at their article, you will get clicks. You will get money. The ads will pop up. I've seen a guy who runs a blog. He makes a lot of money daily from people and getting traffic onto his website. So these websites are making a lot of money off of ads. So it's that kind of game that we think that these big corporations play with people, especially in hip hop culture, black people, where they do something that seems to be racist, offensive, and it gets a certain backlash, but it drives eyes and ears and attention to whatever they're selling, which in some cases does produce them more money. This is what I believe that this is. I don't think this is just like a, oopsie, we didn't mean to do that. We're sorry. We don't know why we put in addiction. We don't know why we put in uh, his, his law trouble. We don't know why we did that. They knew it was going to get outraged. They knew people would click on the article just to see, like, is this? do they really do this? Because I don't think I have to be scrolling on their website for five years for them to get money. I click on it. It's a page view. If any ads pop up, boom, that's money that goes into their pocket, just like a YouTube video. If you click on my video, even if you only watch two minutes, if you watched the ad before, I get some money from that ad. I feel like that's what they do. It's despicable. It's disgraceful. And I don't see this too much happening when prominent people of other races pass away. I don't see the, 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 the let's bring up the bad things they did in their pet. Now, if they're really bad, like if you say R. Kelly dies and you're like the the famed R&B singer turned pet, whatever, you want to put that, that's fine because that's what he was. Not people who just had runnings with the law and the dick. Like, I don't feel like you should do that. So it would be interesting to see when these white powerhouses pass away to see what the headline reads for them. Like just for today, Prince Philip, Prince Philip passes away. Royal family. Oh my God. It didn't say Prince Philip, occasional racist. It didn't say none of that. It's just respect. Now people, you can't compare a Prince to DMA. I don't give a damn about no Prince Philip. You was no King. You was a Prince. You was, you was the King's side. You know what I'm saying? You was just a figurehead. You was just there to the side. Which confused me because I thought when you become married to a queen, you become the king. But I guess if the queen is the queen queen, she's not just like a married in queen. You're still a prince. You're a little nigga because if you become king, then you'll be ahead of me. But that's neither here nor there. So 
it's just like the article that the other lady wrote um, previously during the week while DMX was fighting for his life. She's like, DMX and the story of all the houses that he has lost throughout his career and his dumb eyes. Like, who, who, who at the editing board's like, hey, 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 Jenny, you know that rapper DMX? He's 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 uh he's had a heart attack. He overdosed, right? He has limited brain function. I think you, sh- girl, I think you should do some research, and we're gonna put out this article where you're gonna discuss how many houses. He lost due to foreclosure, not having money throughout his career. I think that'd be. I think people would love the people who subscribe to our newsletter. They'll love it when it pops up in the email. They'll be they, they'll be they'll be happy to click on it. Right? They'll they'll love it. They'll love to read that article. Like I said, these news organizations do these things for clicks, likes, conversation, and they're scum. That's just what it is. They're scum. You see the whole DMX timeline. From the time that he got, uh, the, the time the public found out he knew that he was in the hospital to the time that he ba- he passed away, the amount of debacles that came on, he's on life support. He's not on life support. He's dead. He's not dead. He's got brain function back. He has no brain function. Like th- these things that these, these these media outlets just continue to promote because they want to be first. Somebody posted an amazing Denzel Washington quote. If you haven't seen it, you could probably go and find it. You could probably just search Denzel Washington Fences Premiere message to the media something like that and essentially he said with so much information going on in the world it's not a good thing because now media outlets aren't worried about being correct they're not worried about being right what they're worried about is being first so regardless of they haven't vetted the source they haven't done any further research into whatever they're about to post they get something juicy enough They will post it just to be first because they know that TMZ, let's just let's use these media outlets, neighborhood talk, baller alert, shade room, academics, TMZ, like they know they want to be the first to post it because once the other people post it, most people probably go to whoever posted it first because they're the original source, right? They'll be tagged and every repost that gets tagged, oh, per TMZ, per TMZ, and everybody would go to TMZ because they feel like they're the original source. They have all the information. So Media outlets nowadays would rather be right, I mean, rather be first than be right, which is dangerous in a time where most people don't get past the headlines and most people do not read the retractions that go on after something's come out as false. Nobody reads the retractions. That's why it's so, it's so dangerous for people just to throw allegations at you, right? They just say, hey, you did this. Hey, you did that. And then these big blog pages they posted, they go crazy. Everybody believes it. It comes out as false, but that's quiet. Nobody's really talking about the retraction. Oh, this person lied. Oh, this didn't really happen. Oh, this was actually this person. You don't hear the retraction. You don't see the um, the apologies to the person. That's the way the media goes, man. We'd rather be first instead of right. So, L.A. Times, scummy move, just like when Kobe passed away and you see these people, like he was acquitted for, but people were trying to bring up that he's a. It's like, come on, have some class. Like, like be a human being. For, like, be a human. I know people are famous, but be a human. So, that's all I got for you guys, man. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time, man. Peace.